Good evening, everybody. Hello, how are you today? Carlos, Ronald, Katy, Glenda, Freddy, Manuel, Ophelia, Jose, Billy. Uh, it's good to have you here today. Um, we expect to advance with the section number four. Remember that today is Wednesday, so tomorrow is our last day with the section number four. The coming week is going to be for section number five and also to develop the final exam uh, resolution. So we need to solve it in order that you can, you can see how you need to be prepared in order to complete the module 100%. 100%. Remember that uh, the platform is the only key thing in order that you can pass your uh, beginners one module. So I'm going to start showing uh, the presentation of the platform and some, uh, some exercises that you need to complete. Uh, today we are going to focus on the lesson objective 4.4 that says in this class you will learn how to use possessives in order to describe the uh, belongings of things. And then uh, you have a video in the section 4.5 about possessives. So you already know the possessive adjectives. And today we are going to talk about the possessive nouns in order to complete this part uh, of the platform. Then uh, you will go to the knowledge check. So I'm going to span this. Uh, I would like to confirm that you're watching my screen. Me gustaría confirmar que están viendo mi pantalla. Okay, perfect. So, in the knowledge check 4.6, it says that you have to complete the conversation with the correct word. So, uh, in the first part is, uh, the question is, is this Jennifer's hat? So, that's what we are going to study today, the possessive nouns, right? No, it is not hers, it's mine. Aquí vemos que tenemos como... Los tres tipos de posesivo, ¿verdad? Bueno, dos tipos más bien. Son tres en realidad. Jennifer's hat is possessive nouns. Es lo que vamos a revisar ahora. Eh, no, it's not hers. It's mine. Ahí estamos hablando de possessive pronouns, ¿verdad? Y cuando yo digo en the number two, are these gloves? You ask, are these your gloves? En este caso, este your... Es un possessive adjective, ¿verdad? Porque no está al final de la oración, es in the middle. So remember that the possessive adjectives are also, are always at the beginning of the sentence and in the middle, but not at the end. The ones that go at the end are the possessive pronouns. So we are, go we are going to give, bit, uh, give more feedback on this. Number two, no, they are not. My gloves. Again, this is a possessive adjective, my. Let's ask Sally. Uh, maybe their hair, right? Hair gloves. So again, this is a possessive adjective. So um, number three, t-shirt are these? So since this, this is a question, uh, the right answer is the WH question whose, which is for possession, right? Whose t-shirt are these? Are they Julie's and Pat's? No, they are not. They are t-shirts. Again, possessive adjective, they are t-shirts. But these socks are theirs. Este ya es un possessive um, uh, uh, adjectives and uh, pronouns, right? And these shorts are yours. Again, possessive pronoun. Are they, are these not the, hey, these are not our clothes. Possessive adjective. You're right. Ours are over there. Possessive pronoun. So I'm going to go with this part and then we are going to continue with the uh, weather and seasons. So we are going to learn today a vocabulary about weather and seasons. And then we are going to start a, in the platform, you can uh, listen and watch a video that wow. talks about uh, some vocabulary regarding the clothing for, for weather, for uh, winter in this case. 
And for tomorrow, we are going to continue with the present continuous. So I'm going to start, I'm going to stop sharing this and I will go to the presentation that I have for you. Okay. Today we are going to focus on possessive, uh, uh, possessive noun, possessive form, the possessive form of nouns. So here it says, uh, let me show you this in a bigger, okay. Let me hide this. Okay, so here, uh, the possessive form of nouns. To form the possessives, adds apostrophe S, right, to the noun. If the noun is plural or already ends in S, you just add the apostrophe, right, an apostrophe. Make sure that this is an apostrophe and not other character. Asegúrese que sea un apostrofe, ¿verdad? No el carácter de tilde en el español, porque eso da problemas muchas veces en la plataforma. Por ejemplo, uh, the, example, the example of here says, this is Miguel, this is Sunny, uh, uh, she's Sandra, she's Emma, and he's Alex. So the example here is, Sunny is Miguel's dog. So look, we have here an apostrophe and the letter S, Miguel's dog, because the name of Miguel ends with a letter L. Emma is Sandra's daughter. Again, apostrophe S, because the name Sandra ends with a vowel. This is Peter's car, okay? So Peter's car. So you add apostrophe and S. Peter ends with an R. Sandra is Emma. Sandra is Emma's mother, right? Emma ends with the vowel A, apostrophe S. Okay. In here, I have the rules with some examples. If the um, if, if it's a singular noun, you add the apostrophe and S. For example, we went to Angie's house last night. Where is the dogs born? Is that your friend's bike? Remember that you have to say, you have to say, uh, you have to pronounce it well. Angie's house. Dogs born. Friend's bike. When we have singular nouns ending in S, you add the apostrophe S. The class, Ben, the class teacher is nice. So you have here a plural, right? And then you add apostrophe S. The boss office is big. The princess dress is pink, right? Because in this case, the noun end in S. Es un nombre singular, ¿verdad? Es un nombre singular y termina en S. Entonces, igual, tengo que agregar el, 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 el apostrophe y la S, right? But when, um, when I have names ending in S, cuando tengo nombres propios, ¿verdad? Que terminan en la letra S, I just add the apostrophe S, right? Or only an apostrophe. Eh, ambas formas, ¿verdad? Pero normalmente solo le agregamos el apóstrofe. James, dog is hungry. ¿Verdad? O puedo decir también, las dos formas son correctas. James, apóstrofe, dog is hungry. Both are correct. When I have two or more people, I just add the apostrophe S or only an apostrophe. For example, Stacy and Steve's car is old. Or Stacy's and Steve's car are old. In this case, I'm making the emphasis eh, in the ownership of both. In, en este caso, estoy haciendo énfasis, ¿verdad? Que les pertenece a los dos, pero de igual manera podría haberlo puesto solo a uno y se entiende que es de los dos. Stacy and Steve's car is old. O Stacy's and Steve's car are old. Ok, so, plural nouns ending in S. ¿Qué pasa con los nombres plurales que terminan, eh, los, los sustantivos plurales que terminan en S? Only add the apostrophe, right? No S. 
you need your parents' permission. So, this is a plural, los padres, ¿verdad? Necesitas el permiso de tus padres. You need your parents' permission. Where are the dog's bones? In this case, we are talking about more than one dog. It means it's plural. My friend's house is big. La casa de mis amigos es grande. Okay, so it's plural. So when I have a plural, a plural noun not ending in S, I have to add the apostrophe and the letter S. For example, he always corrects people's grammar. The men's toilet is disgusting. Eh, vea que este men es el plural, ¿verdad? De, de hombres. Eh, es el plural de hombre, en este caso es hombres, pero es un plural irregular, ¿verdad? Que se forma del singular man, el plural es man. The children's champ, camping trip. The children's camping trip. Again, child, singular. Children, plural. So this is an irregular plural. Classical religious names ending in S. Only add the apostrophe, no the S. Sophocles plays are still performed today. Hercules strength seem unlimited. No noun after apostrophes, S. To avoid the repetition when the meaning is clear. Eh, para, para evitar la repetición, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, si yo pregunto, whose umbrella is this? Eh, puedo decir, it is, it is Mary's. Hasta ahí, ¿verdad? The meaning is clear. We know we are talking about the, this umbrella. Está claro, ¿verdad? Estamos eh, sabiendo de que estamos hablando de esta sombrilla. Eh, no voy a decir, it's Mary's umbrella, ¿verdad? Porque... Eh, La palabra umbrella, in this case, is not necessary. It sounds repetitive. Suena como monótono o repetitivo. Okay, I have here the rules. Uh, possessive, uh, possessive nouns, uh, again, the definition, um, are those who show possession. Possessive nouns are used to show ownership. Ownership, la propiedad, ¿verdad? De algo. For example, the rule number one says that in singular nouns, person, place, thing, or idea, we add apostrophe and S after the noun. Ron's car is in the garage. It means that the car belonging to Ron is in the garage. Rule number two, these are the same rules. Look that these are the same rules explained in a different way. Notese que son las mismas reglas que ya les dije, ¿verdad? Eh, anteriormente, pero aquí está un poco todavía más explícito. In singular nouns ending with S, we add an apostrophe and S to the noun. Tom's, look here, Tom's notebook is lying on the table. It means that the notebook of Tom is lying on the table. John's wife is a doctor. It means that the wife of John is a doctor. Rule number three. In singular nouns ending with S, followed by a word starting with S, we just add an apostrophe to the noun. This is to avoid a hissing sound. Texas school is in Malvidia Nagar. Nalvilla Nagar. Suha's sister is a teacher. In the rule number four, in plural nouns ending with S, we add apostrophe after S. Students report cards are ready. Yeah. Students, solo le agregué el, el apostrophe. Report cards are ready. Girls dance classes have been postponed. Rule number five, in irregular plural nouns, men, como le que les explicaba, but that children, we add apostrophe and S to show possession. Children's clothes are expensive. It means that the clothes of children are expensive. People's mindset needs to be changed. Mindset of, pe mindset of people need to be changed. So that's the, the meaning. Okay, so let me continue and I want to send you this image for you to practice. Voy a enviarles esta imagen para que ustedes puedan practicar. So, uh, the idea is that you can complete 
you can complete each sentence, write the possessive form of the noun in parentheses to show belonging. For example, the puppy's toy squeaks, right? It means a uh, puppy, right? The puppy is, is the noun. So do you have questions so far? Tenemos preguntas hasta acá? Hello, hello. No, teacher. Okay, perfect. So I will send you now the image. You already have it in your WhatsApp. So let me send you to the breakout rooms in order that you can practice. But before doing this, I want to take an extra picture of you. So let me hide myself and take the picture that I need. Okay, just wait a minute for me. Peace. Okay, so let me do the breakout rooms now. So we have just, uh, let's see, we are 14, so we are going to have five groups. Okay, please join when you receive the invitation. Hello, hello, Gisela, eh, Grisela, hello, can you hear me? Hi, my dear, it seems that there's only you in this group. Parece que solo está usted en el grupo, si le aparece la reasigno a otro grupo. Ahí está Teresa. Ok, hi, Teresa. Can you sí, hear? es que yo tenía problemas, no me dejaba ingresar. Creo que por eso se tardó un poco en enviarme a un, a un grupo de práctica. Ah, ok, perfecto. Pero qué bueno que ya está aquí. Si no, pues tratemos de avanzar, ¿verdad? Lo que podamos. Ok. okay. Perfect. See you later. Thank you, teacher. It's nice. Teacher. Hello. Se 